Welcome everyone. I try to film my videos in the evening, but I just got the mail today at the ungodly hour of 925, and I thought you guys might enjoy um, an unboxing from a new source of banknotes that I've discovered, and um, I wanted you to see it from the start. I'm going to try to be delicate about showing you the addresses, but I do want you to see, <laughs> look at the condition of the package. This this is from Canada, and this is probably the cheapest expensive mailing envelope that I have ever seen. It's almost like paper rather than cardboard, and I certainly hope my notes are in this portion rather than this portion of the holder. But I thought you might enjoy seeing the unboxing with me and some of the neat new notes that I have been able to source from these folks. Are you guys ready? This is Benjamin, and this is another episode of Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Maybe you want to see this, all of this. I want to I wanna see this to figure out if I even want to order from these people again. This packaging is insanely delicate. <laughs> Can't even get the, the tear strip to work right. Holy cow. I guess in Canada you want little kids to be able to open the mail. Okay, well, inside we have another envelope and let's hope it's a little bit better condition. It seems to be firmer. It's a little more wrinkled on this side, but that could just be as it was from the package. We'll find out. With all due respect to my Canadian fans, if this doesn't work out, we can take Cartman's advice from the South Park movie and just blame Canada, huh? <laughs> okay, inside we have another little taped package like this. And inside we have, ah, we have a printout of the um, order. It's very nice. And once we get this far, you know, it's it's pretty nice indeed. So perhaps I'll have to change my mind. That's a firm cardboard. Ooh, a parachute skydive. La vie commence, a life starts at go. Hmm. Ah, here's my notes, guys. Nice and secure against this piece of cardboard. Woohoo! And in a protective holder. So I, I can't really be too sad, guys. From the first blush, it didn't look right, but it looks pretty decent at this point. So I'm going to be forgiving. And we are going to see what notes came for me today in the mail. The first note I have for you is actually it looks pretty bad, but I'm going to take it just until I can get... A better condition note. This is actually um, a 20 Makuta from Congo. And on the front is somebody I've come to admire. Um, not necessarily for his political views, but for the heart he had for his people and the way he was betrayed by the by colonial powers and such. This is uh, Patrice Lumumba, and this was a 20 Makuta that came out with Patrice on this end, and over here on this end, him waving a flag. And on the back of the note, just the design of people in a boat from the Bank of Congo. Now, um, I don't know if this note was issued before or after his death yet, because I haven't actually done the work of it. But um, it's a fine condition note. It's pretty much a rag, actually. But it only was five bucks. And that's pretty good for the condition it's in. And it'll be a nice note for me to have until I can get it in the condition I normally like to collect. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that note. The next note I have is from Guinea, which is also... Uh, a depiction of Patrice Lumumba, 
And um, I have one of Guinea's notes. Guinea likes to put people from other nations on their notes. And I have another uh, note from Guinea with Patrice Lumumba on it. But um, the one I have is from like an earlier printing and it's a, of a different color entirely. So I'm pretty excited to have this one as well. Here's a note that I have been wanting for a long time and have been unable to source here in the United States, and it's surprising. But in um, in just about every uh, website or eBay store, one can find commemorative issues from the Bank of Haiti for their bicentennial. You can get the tin and plastic. You can get the... 50, the 100, the 200, the 500. The th you can get them all except for the 25. <clears throat> and I was just not really despairing, but wondering why I was never able to find this note. Until guess what? I found the note. So here it is, guys. <clears throat> I can't wait to now do the whole series for you. Very nice indeed. Excitingly enough, the very next note is from Iran, and I enjoy Iranian banknotes. I especially like them from the days of the Shah, and I was able to find a couple of commemorative notes, <clears throat> excuse me, that commemorate the Persian Empire, I believe, the 2,500 years of the Persian Empire. And I like this vignette because you know, say what you will, before the mullahs came to Iran, the Shah may have shocked some of their sensibilities, but he did some things that I'm sure the people miss and admire him for. And one of them was uh, a land redistribution that allowed farmers to actually finally own the piece of land that they had been farming. Sometimes their families had been farming for decades. And here's a vignette of the Shah, Pahlavi, giving title to... A farmer, I believe, is what I've been told this vignette was. Hmm. I'll have to uh, explore that further. A companion piece to that 50 is this 100, and it also is from the same time period, and it also commemorates like the 2,500 years of the Persian Empire. Oh, and it's not going to fit in this holder. Maybe that's why it's giving me grief. My friend Steve Taylor always told me that friends never, ever, banknote friends never, ever put each other's notes in the holder because sometimes putting them in the holder can damage them. <laughs> and um, you want to be fully responsible for handling your own notes. But here's the Shah Pahlavi again. And on this side are scenes from the Persian Empire. We have a health scene to the far left. Doctors, nurses, family getting treated. We have a farming scene in the middle. A tractor. And then we have an educational scene on the far right here. So, very nice note. Very nice. Notes I've always wanted to have in my collection and have never been able to have. Now, the very next note is the note that made me almost squeal like a schoolgirl whenever I first saw that it was for sale. And you'd be thinking, oh, okay, it's a Bank of Jamaica note. Those things are a dime a dozen. You know, they are. But when you um, look at this particular catalog number, you realize this isn't a dime a dozen, and this is actually a very scarce bank note. Probably 20000 got made. And it is a bank note that commemorates the FAO, and it is the only piece of paper money in the entire world that commemorates the FAO, and you can tell it's an FAO commemorative by the overprint over here that uh, has the dates for the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948, 10th of December, 1973, toward food education employment for all, Articles 23 through 26. So this is a note I've been wanting a while, and I was willing to pay 
oh, I don't know, about 25 bucks for it. I've seen it for sale much more expensively. And I was setting myself up to have to pay a much more expensive price when I found this on this guy's mail, mail order list. And I'm so pleased that I have this very scarce, and in terms of the FAO, a very rare uh, issue. It's the only paper money that has been issued to celebrate the FAO. I'm very close, people, to having a complete collection of the banknotes of Lao, and I may have a complete collection of the banknotes out of the 61 to date catalog with just a few from the catalog before, but I'm very happy to get this note. I love these notes from countries where I absolutely cannot read anything that's on them in their native language except the occasional piece of French. Like right there, it says Le Governor in Censure. And that looks like the king. And on the back, we have a horse drawn cart, which is a neat little sub genre itself, but this is a very uh, hard to find note. Well, at least it's been hard for me to find note that um, I needed to have a complete set of the modern banknotes of Lao. I'm very pleased to have it. The next note I got was one of the, I think there's only four or five notes from the Philippines I need that are commemorative in nature. I have almost all of them with this note. And, you know, it's just odd how you can find these notes in some places and then you can't find them in others. But how pleasing is it when you get a bank note that you have needed for a very long time. Uh, the Philippines uh, likes to issue commemorative notes, but sometimes they take a previously uh, printed note and then they overprint it in the watermark area. In this case, it is overprinted with the Plenary Council of the Philippines. There's the Cairo symbol and it says, Unite all things under Christ, Ephesians 1.10. So it's kind of a neat uh, commemorative and with this note, I'm going to be able to do some programs on commemorative banknotes of the Philippines very shortly. Pleasing note. Very pleasing. The next note I got is also a commemorative. And it commemorates the 500th anniversary of the Royal College of the Surgeons in Scotland. My friend in Hong Kong has been doing lots of interesting videos on the the notes from scotland as of late well from the whole of the uk and um it pleases me to have this one with this note i think i have most of the modern uh royal bank of scotland commemorative notes and you know i like it again for the neat serial number it has it commemorates the college of the surgeons in edinburgh and it has the rcs prefix which is the royal college of surgeons so i always enjoy notes that have that. It has the typical design of a uh, regular issue banknote of the Royal Bank of Scotland. It shows Colzian's castle on the back. I have to do some research on that. And it's the same design, Lorley Day, on the front, but it does have the commemorative overprint over here. Not one of the more imaginative commemoratives from Scotland, but nevertheless a commemorative. And for some reason, in all my years of collecting, um, Banknotes, this note from Singapore always eluded me, so I was pretty happy to get it. It's just simply a $2 bill signed by um, the Minister of Finance there, and I don't know why I've never been able to get this, and, and I'm not even clear why, it's a, why it is its own um, pick number yet. But I have just about every other $2 bill this nation has issued in with this note i may have them all now i'll have to go back and do some exploration but i've always enjoyed seeing these old junk type ships and i do like that it has um novelty serial numbers that increase in size and it has an interesting xj prefix so that's interesting to find out more about that and on this side i've always enjoyed things like um 
the Chingay procession. You have um, men with a giant dragon, like for New Year. You have um, people of a different ethnicity in the mi- in the middle with another um, display. And then over here in the far right, you have what I like. You have the children showing out in their little fake horses, and then there's a guy with his fake peacock tail there in the background, and there's balloons and horn blowing. This note has just about everything. And so this note is going to go into my peacock theme. This note is going to go into a horse theme. And this note can go into a dragon theme all at once. It's pretty amazing. Very nice note. And the final note that I got in this batch today is from Swaziland, although I think it's fair to say um, it's from a country that no longer exists with the name Swaziland because now it's called Eswatini because too many of us apparently, according to the king, confuse Swaziland with Switzerland. And I'm not sure how that confusion could be made, but... I'm not going to go against the king. What we have on the front is a spear and a very youthful king, Mswati. And then on the back of the note, we have some of the wildlife of Swaziland. We have the cranes. We have the hippos. We have a giraffe, some zebra, mountains in the distance, water in the foreground, and a butterfly. This ticks off a lot of boxes, and I'm very excited to be able to share these with you in some of the future programs. What do you think? Should I order from this this group again? Initially, I was not impressed with the packaging, but once I got inside, I saw how they handled the packaging so that my notes came to me nice and crispy, and I was able to get them holdered with no further damage. I'm very pleased with the quality of the notes I received, and I feel like I'm probably going to give them some more of my business. Um, they are Canadian, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. I'm Benjamin. Please like and subscribe my video. Ask me questions and comments. And please share this with your friends, your clubs, and uh, anybody you think would be interested in the theme or individual banknote videos that I've shared with you. I'm very excited to um, open my office to you guys. And I thank you for your time. Have a jewel of a day.